everyone. It's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. I am here tonight to uh, share the rest of the second, this is the second video of sharing the uh, Happy Mail from Mary Flower. And again, I want to thank her for all the goodies. And I don't want to delay and make this video too long, so I'll get started. And I want to say welcome to my channel. And uh, also, I will be doing a Pay It Forward giveaway like I have done with my other Happy Mails. So, uh, since it's kind of overlapping with my last giveaway, my drawing for my last giveaway is uh, April 29, so that's coming up. So I thought I'd do this one, the giveaway for this Happy Mail, since I'm sharing all my Happy Mails, um, on May 11th. And that's a Saturday in about a week or so, or actually a couple, almost two weeks away. So. What I'll do is link the other giveaway below this video, and then you can enter, make sure you're entered on both of them. So you've got two giveaways to enter. So we'll just finish up. Uh, the video before this is the first half of the Happy Mail from Mary Flower, and this, is, this will be the second half. So what I've got here in my hand are some clips, and I don't know, I've never seen these before, so I don't know exactly what they're for. They have the word delight on them, so I'll have to look up to see exactly, but it has a little metal piece here and you fold it. I don't want to break it. It looks like it's like a little hinge, but if you fold it back and forth too much, it might break. But it's definitely some kind of clip that I'll look up online and see exactly what you're supposed to clip with these. So a whole box of these metal clips that say delight on them. So I will be looking that up online to see what it is. And so that came out of this envelope, so I'll just go ahead and just pull everything out of this envelope to see. And all the packaging I, I reuse, the envelopes and everything, so uh, just to know, just to let you know, I recycle and reuse and repurpose and re all that with all the packaging. So uh, what we have in here, oh, this is cool. Let's see, oh my goodness, this is some paper flowers, it looks like, or some type of flowers, maybe silk flowers. I guess I need to just get this open and see what's in here, if I can. Well, it looks like a lot of little parts here. Okay, so let me just tell you what I see. There are some brads here, like purple, I mean, not purple, like that match the flowers. So light blue and kind of a... a not burgundy, but uh, I don't know how to describe that color, but it's a, almost like a burgundy color. The, the brads actually look more burgundy than the flowers, but you can see it's all a coordinated little kit here. Here's some gems, some ribbon, and these look like all these are stickers right here. So I can make things out of this. It would be fun to make some tags or these look like photo corners here. So just some fun things to, to uh, craft with. Can't wait to use these flowers. I just saw something today that um, it was a video on making or decorating uh, guest checks. So these will be fun. In fact, this whole kit could be fun in decorating guest checks. So that will be cool. Okay, and so what do we have next? Here's some, oh, fabric pockets. Look at these. I have never seen these before. So I would like to open it so I can show you better. Yeah, they come open easy. Oh, cool, they're actually little pockets. Oh my word. Wow, they have, okay. They have little like stickers on the back that you can pull off the front and stick it onto something. And they're actually like little denim, almost like denim pockets. And there's, that's a rosy pink one. So there's some four or three of those. And this one's like a little green and cream colored plaid. And so cool little pockets, like little, almost like little pockets off of a je pair of jeans or something. <laughs> or a pair of pants. That is so cute. I have not ever seen that before. Isn't that neat? Wow. So cool. And so adorable. <laughs> okay. Let's see. See, what do we have here? Oh, cool. It's a girl precious. Some, some uh, like phrase banners or word banners in a, they're like a copper color. Bronze copper, copper. Metal ribbon slides. Isn't that cool? Okay, so you can, 
they have little slit slits in the end so you can you know weave a ribbon in and out of those and tie them on that would be good for a um, you know the the closure for the front of a journal or just to make a little uh, embellishment for attaching to the front of a journal that's really cool that's cool thank you Mary awesome and then oh here are some uh, metal oh these are book like these can be used as book corners or photo corners probably but they're yeah they have a lot of room in to get a little book uh, cover in there they're metal and they're silver colored it looks like nickel it says crocodile three main squeeze corners nickel that's neat that's very cool awesome Okay, designer details the perfect touch. Okay, I'd like to get these open to see what they feel like. Let me see. Okay, open them carefully in order not to mess up the package too much. Okay, they feel they may be some kind of plastic, but they almost look like stone or they almost look like stone, you know, like embellishments. I'm trying to think of a little. I'm trying to see if they're supposed to be a sticker, but no, I don't think so. But that's really neat as an embellishment. And there's two of those, so that's cool. Designer details, the perfect touch. That's neat. Wow. That is cool. Just so many unique things. Okay, here's some like copper bling. And let me just show you the package because you can see it pretty good there. Little, uh, there's some round ones and some squarish ones, and they look like very, uh, they look blingy and kind of a di like a diamond touch, but they're copper colored. 109 pieces. Wow, that's cool. That is really cool. That's, those would be good to make, so, like the center of a flower. I, I want to make some paper flowers and some fabric flowers, so that'll be cool. Let's see, what do we have here? Bubble caps. Uh, create your own custom epoxy shapes with the EC Shape Studio tool. And so you... It looks like you put a picture underneath here. And then you cover it with this epoxy... Uh, piece and it's like a scalloped over the edges so those could be really cool to create little embellishments with and little tiny like pictures underneath there that would be cool like little button looking things but they have a picture underneath I will have to read these directions and see what I can do with these but this is really neat Wow, I'm going to have some crafting to do <laughs> and some fun to have. Oh, wow, paper clips. Yes, I love paper clips. Okay, there's some different shaped paper clips. These are like uh, copper colored or brass colored. And there's some stars, hearts, a uh, camera, a banner, a kitty cat, and a, can't see what that one is, like a dog possibly. Very cool. I'm trying to show it without the glare here from my light above me on the ceiling. Sorry. But uh, very cool. Oh. I love putting cl pretty clips in my journals. Oh, here's some sparkly glittery brads. Oh, these are, oh, no, these are tacks, I think. No, these are brads. These are brads. Isn't that neat? Those can be. Those have so many uses. You can put them in the middle of a flower, or um, you know any type of embellishment really. So that'll be fun to use. Okay. Wow, we went through that one pretty quick. So let's see if we can get through these quick. Here's a here's a package here with some pretty star closure on it. Uh, let's see where it's joined together. Right here, maybe. I'm one of those people that doesn't like to wrap, doesn't like to uh, tear the wrapping paper. <laughs> so I have trouble tearing into a package and ripping it up. So see, I I'm doing pretty good here, not ripping this. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. 
some, doesn't that paper sound cool? All the nice and crinkly, nice paper. Okay, so we've got pretty peacock, peacock napkin. That's really pretty colors. That is really pretty. I love the orange on there. And some green flowers and some more green flowers. Those are pretty, they look like orchids. Red and white polka dots for a bright color and yellow polka dots, hearts for Valentine. But this is pretty with the script and the butterflies and the flowers. And here's a flower, pretty flower. Oh, and here's a nice, nice napkin with some bling. Some silver bling and some fruit. Isn't that cool? I don't have anything with fruit on it. And some dessert, banana split and pretty colorful dots, polka dots. Oh, nice beach scene here. Isn't that pretty with the bright colors? And let's see, oh, popsicles. Well, look at this one with the circles. Very artsy looking, very neat. Wow, that was cool. Thank you, Mary. Awesome, I don't have anything like any of those. <laughs> and let's see, we've got a bag here that was inside of this with some goodies. And a neat bag that I can reuse. And some tickets in here. Pink, blue, uh, a different color blue, like a bright blue. Some rosy pink, and this one's red and white. And then in the middle is the, okay, that's a light pink, and there's like a dark pink one in there. So very cool tickets. I don't have any like that, I don't think. I think I have green and white and green, yellow, and red. So these are all different from what I have. That's cool. And a cool little flower. I love that. Little, like sunflower looking daisy. This is, I'm not sure. Let me see. Almost looks like a magnifying glass. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it open. Come on. Come on, I don't want to rip you or cut you open. It's a little, okay, I'll get that in a minute. Okay, a little tag and some just little um, cut out, you know, pieces that can be used for embellishments. A cute little owl tag has a hole right here. So isn't he pre she pretty? That looks like a girl owl. <laughs> some frames. Here's a little piece, a cut out piece or punch out. And some more frames here. Let's see. There are, these are the same right here with the black and cream color. Those are really pretty. And they're scalloped on the edges. And here's, yeah, these are the same. So those are cool. I don't have any frames, so those are neat. Here's another one of the little corner pieces. That can be used for a tuck spot too. That's an awesome. Little flowery tag. And a little square piece that can be used for so many things, layering or some of that little tuck spot or something. I want to put those back in this bag. And let me see if I can get this open. We'd like to see what this is, but it doesn't seem to be want, wanting to open for me. All right, I give up. <laughs> I cut you open because I want to be able to show what it is and see what it is. Okay, I'm trying to see. It looks like a magnifying glass. It's really cute though. And it has a number on it here, like almost like a little key. And let me see if I can magnify. I don't know. I'm not sure, but it's really cool looking. Very neat. It, this looks like a little key right here. It's very, uh, it's not flexible or anything though, so. Very cool, like a, I don't know, just really cool. <laughs> have to figure out what to do with that. You could put something underneath it, I guess, and use it as like a um, embellishment and put like a picture underneath there. That would be neat. I'll have to figure that out. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you, Mary. Okay, so I put that back in here. Let me put the magnifying glass back in there too. That's what I'm going to call it, even though, though it's not probably not a magnifying glass. Okay, so I've got these little stars I can reuse too. And now they're getting stuck. Okay, yeah, they're, they're sticky. Or they have tape on them. Okay, let's do the hearts. 
This is a bag, it looks like. And it's tape, so I can cut the tape open. Let me see. Yeah, I have some tape. And we've got some tape here. Okie dokie. So this has Valentine hearts on the outside of a nice bag here. And then, let's see, we've got a cool bang bingo card. I don't have any little ones like this, so this is cute. Love that. And this is a, this is a card, I think. Yes. Pretty card with flowers on it. Very neat. I see lots of ephemera in my future. Oh, isn't this cute? These are little um, appliques, iron-on patches. And they're little tiny flowers. Pink and red. And they're, they're in a basket. Very cute. Very cute. Here is an ice cream piece. Very uh, cool for a nice bright. I could see this going into a Daphne's Diary magazine journal. Very cool. And here we have some, let's see, these look like journaling cards. Four by six. Very neat colors and everything. This one says, this magnifique, this magnifique tray, okay. Yeah, it's got a little bit of French on there. Tray fabulous or fabulo, low. Tray cool. Tray, tray chic. <laughs> cool. <laughs> tray chic. Okay, and this is a little embellishment to from tag here. And it looks like maybe Mary made this one. It's got some sequins on it and some beads and some glitter. Very cute and very pretty. Okay, and chili pepper tag, Fiesta. <laughs> That's cute. It's a tag that says Fiesta on it. It has some chili peppers on there. Very cute. I like that. And a copper wire. That's neat. See the copper wires right here. Very neat, very neat. Oh, look at this. A, a popsicle stick kind of thing with, uh, it says create on it. I bet Mary made that. Very neat. So, thank you, Mary. Okay, we've got some note paper here. This one says, ooh la la, or oh la la. And then a little lady with the sunglasses. Oh, that's a monkey with sunglasses on. <laughs> and these are neat little, little you know, narrow note, um, memo notes with a telephone, old-fashioned telephone on it, and they're red. They've got craft colored up here. Very cool. And a nice card here with a map on it. Yes, that could be fun to, to do something with. Uh, put it in a journal or even cut that map out. Uh, here is some punch outs. Oh, this is neat. This is a punch out. These are all punch outs. Like here's a star. These look like banners and this looks like notebook paper up here. And let's see up there. Oh, they're actually stickers. They're, see they're, they lift up here. So a sticker. That's neat, and it's like a quote. This one's like a quote, and it, but it's cool because it's notebook paper. I like that a lot. And here's another notebook paper one. That's neat. Some more of these stickers. Very cool. I like those. And arrows. Oh, look at these. They look like book pages. Very neat. Wow. And these are cool looking cards. Wow. Look at that. File number or name out, out to date. Very neat. I like those. Anything like that, I like with the lines and the almost looks like ledger paper type of thing. But that's really cool. I love those. Wow. And they're red and it's really pretty color, like a pretty cream and red. Very pretty. I like those. I love those. Okay, let's see. All kinds of goodies in a little kind of bag here, a linen bag, and let's see what we have. <laughs> let's see what we have. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, some appliques. Here's a little rocking horse, some lips, some like a old-fashioned soda or milkshake, 
a apple, a strawberry. Okay, that's all the appliques. I don't know if I can get them back in that little bag. I think I'm going to set that to the side. And then we've got some like game pieces. Cool. And here's some bingo. And here is some washi tape with hearts. That's cute. Or is it kind of like a scratch tape almost? But that's cute. And then here, this is looks like a domino, possibly, but it has eyes on it. Isn't that cool? And then let me put that over here. A little clipboard. Does it work? I don't want to break it, but that's really cute. See, it's all together with metal on the back. And this is metal. And this is a little clipboard. <laughs> that's adorable. <laughs> Here's a little tag. Oh, that's going to be cute in, in a journal. Look how tiny. Just for you. Awesome. Okay. Now, let's see what's in here. A little uh, bow to untie, possibly. Yes. This is really pretty ribbon here. Isn't that neat? That will make some great trim on a journal. Awesome. Okay, this is a neat little envelope here. A craft in red, and it's like card stocky. Okay, let me open it carefully. Let's see what's in here. Oh, neat. Some big rick rack. That's cool. That'll be fun to use on a journal and add some trim. And an applique of cherries. A little red dress. Mary, this is not my size. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Wow, that's adorable. Okay. Maybe I'll have to get involved, get this dress involved with some Tim Holtz people. <laughs> some of the Tim Holtz paper dolls. Or some other type of paper doll. We'll see. That's cool. <laughs> awesome. Okay, and here's some red rick rack. This is a cute size, too. Not too big, not too small. A card. Blank inside. It's nice when they're blank inside. And you can decorate them or use them as a journaling card. Here's another dress that I'll have to find a person to fit. A little Tim Holtz doll, maybe. She's a pretty dress, though. Pink. That's neat. Is it a sticker? Almost feels like a sticker. Hold the phone. Oh, there's oh, there's more than one. Okay, cool. It's a little. It was a notepad or something with these dresses. Isn't that neat? There's several of them here. It is a notepad. They're stuck together at the top. Wow. Never seen that before. That's cool. <laughs> Isn't that neat? It's adorable. A big playing card. I don't have any this big, so that's cool. I can have fun with that. And a flash card in a red envelope. And this is neat with the trim on the top. This is some uh, paper and a book page. And these, oh, it's okay. It's, it's uh, on either side is book page. It's, it's sewn here with some trim on the top. So it's a little booklet. And this is a cute little, it looks like a children's book with chicken, chicken. Chickens. <laughs> it says July on the back. So that's cute. Some blue paper in there. Isn't that awesome? Yes, that is awesome. <laughs> a little invitation to a party. That's neat. And here is all the children of the world here on this card. Isn't that pretty? I like that. That's neat. Joy to everyone everywhere. Isn't that cool? It's, I guess it's a Christmas card possibly, but I like all the children there from all over the world. Isn't that pretty? I just love that. Uh oh, I think Mary was doing some painting on here. Isn't that pretty? I love that. An old, it's possibly an old little divider card. Yeah, it looks like an old one. Index divider, and it's a big one though. And it's painted. That's cool. That could be a great background for something. Okay, we're on the last package. We're going to make it through. <laughs> okay, let's see. I, I, this trim is really neat. It looks like uh, I don't have any eyelash trim, and this looks like it might be considered eyelash trim. I do not know, but I, I'm having trouble getting it untied, and I don't want to cut it, so let me see. 
I can get it off here without breaking it. Cool, because I can use that again. Awesome. And I can figure out if it will untie later when I have more time to mess with it. What is this? Mary, 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 <laughs> what did you do? Wow, the very last thing. Oh my goodness. Let me see what we have here. It looks like a journal, a notebook. Okay, let me just show you. Oh my goodness, this is unexpected. I, 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 I'm speechless. <laughs> it's a beautiful journal. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm, I'm just absorbing it here. Oh, it's got a pretty um, sealed front here with, um, it, oh, it's me. It's so aged looking. It's so cool looking. Let me show you the side. It's got metal pieces on trim here and the little charms of a shovel and a rake. And then the back is like a book also, but it's been it's been sealed with the trims here and everything. Very cool, I love the look of it. It's so old looking and vintage, very neat. This is a little elastic tie to hold it together. Okay, let's see what we have. Oh wow, we'll do a flip through. Okay, so we've got some pretty paper here. Very neat. And then we've got, we've got one, two, there's a divider in between each signature it looks like, and three signatures. Okay, so let's see. We've got a library pocket here, it says 2017 Mary Flower. This is a really neat looking paper here. And it's got some little washi right here. And then, let's see what we have in here. Wow, isn't this neat? I did not expect this at all. This is a library card and she's got, oh, this is a neat idea where you do your border punch on here. I never thought of doing that on a library card. Why I didn't, I don't know, <laughs> but, and some pretty red, uh, like tape right here on the front and the back. And it's a library card that has red stripes on it. So that's really, really cool looking one. And here's the punch again on the, I never thought of doing it on a playing card either. Wow, well, thank you Mary for the ideas. Wow, this is so cool. And this looks like it's been pa painted or um, inked. And it's a journaling card, but it looks like it's been inked. So really cool treatment there. Isn't that neat? Wow, I'm, I'm just blown away right here. Okay, so she's got the border punch here. And it looks like washi and some trim put on here with the border punch. And then we've got the back here with, this looks like a card, a really pretty card, almost Victorian looking. And some really neat card stock, craft colored in black. That's neat. And possibly some coloring book here, maybe, or a children's book, some kind of book. It's got flamingos, it looks like, right here. Love that. Some paper, maybe scrapbook or some type of paper. Wallpaper, maybe? I'm not sure. It says 12 by 12, so I guess it's scrapbook paper. That's really pretty blue. And then we've got some uh, type of uh, book page here with washi tape and some trim, which is, uh, I wanna make sure you can see the trim. It's got holes in, so it's a scalloped trim with holes through. And then, so yeah, it's backed with the book page right here. So that's what you see through the holes is the book page. And yeah, we're right here. Okay, and then some pretty paper. And it's, oh, this is like wallpaper here. It's like craft colored on the back, but it feels like wallpaper on the front. And then some more interesting feeling, possibly wallpaper, not sure, I'm just guessing. With some washi maybe on the edges there. A uh, pretty glittery card with the Argyle design here. Oh, and it's shiny, like plastic. 
I don't know what that's from, but that's really neat. And this is like a paper, this is like a craft colored, either like a paper bag or something, but I like the way it's wrinkled and got some ink on it. And that's neat. I love the grungy look. And there's some more of that card, the Argyle shiny card. And so we're on the back half of that first, this first signature. And some more, oh, this is some different trim, isn't it? I haven't seen this one before. Yeah, with some, like the border punch. Some pretty flowered washi here. It matches this washi right here. Or, yeah, that looks like some washi right there. Some book page. And a neat pocket here. It says she's got a piece of a Sears and Roebuck, old Sears and Roebuck catalog here. With some trim and a card in here. And this looks like an old card catalog, card from a library. She's got the border punch here, and it says fairy tales right there. So that's really cool. Fairy tales, isn't that neat? Wow, I can't get over this. Uh, uh, I just, I'm blown away, Mary. <laughs> really blown away. Here's a neat piece of uh, like cardstock with the border punch. It's really pretty border punching on here too. Really pretty. Okay, let me see, it goes like this, and then this is a really pretty pocket. It's got some washi right here that looks like it has book pages on it, and there we go. This is going to be so fun to use. Uh, this is some more of that pretty scrapbook paper that was in the front half, the book page, the black and white, and this looks like the back half of a card. That was in the front, possibly. Or, yeah, there's a symbol that looks like a card. Some pretty scrapbook paper. And then here is the piece that looks like it's joined. See how it looks like she did, like, end papers here. So it comes from the back of the cover over to here. All It looks like all one piece. So it, and then it acts like a divider in, in between the signatures. So we have a library card here. I mean a library pocket, a neat, and another neat one with, I mean, uh, let me show you. It's just got some really cool, first of all, the base of it, it's really cool. It's got a graph pattern, but it's on craft cardstock looking paper. Some washi here and here. This looks like some more, maybe Sears catalog right here. Really cool way to use the Sears catalog is, you know, to decorate the, the bottom half of the library pocket. And then we've got a, this is a journaling card, but it looks like she joined some things together here. Like this looks like two pieces joined by washi. And then it's got some book page somehow in between with this pretty like punched out part right here. Really neat and different. I've never seen anything like that. That's cool. And this is a punch on a really pretty, uh, playing or game card of some kind. See, three of clubs, I guess that is. It's a different kind of uh, playing card. I haven't seen anything like that. And a library card catalog with the punch out. And really pretty. That's so pretty with the punch out on there. I've got to remember that. <laughs> Put that down in my idea book. <laughs> and this is really pretty paper, too. So we're on the second signature. And just pretty paper with washi and some green trim here and punch out or border punch. And then, okay, yeah, so that's attached. I'm going to see how it's all, okay, so the washi wraps around back. Then we've got some more pretty paper here, pretty pieces here. I like the different sizes. I, I like to do that. My journals have different variety of sizes. Book page. Oh, here's some old ledger here you can tell it's brown around the edges really cool and it's like blue light blue and pink colored so very pretty let me hold that up make sure you can see that pretty well yeah really neat let's see I'm landing on the charms okay some pink paper and this is yeah some scrapbook paper looks like this is some maybe book page right here just I like the variety I like like 
when every page is different, so that's cool. Some more like the paper bag wrinkled, and some like other kind of brown paper that's really neat. And a piece of that brown paper, book page. This is pretty scrapbook paper with the lines. It almost looks like wallpaper. Some of the ledger, and I don't think we've gotten to the middle yet. And some more scrapbook paper that looks like wallpaper. That's pretty. And okay, here's the middle, and she's got washi here and pink. It's bound with pink string or uh, rope or cord. Okay, so we're on the back half now. Here's that ledger paper, and here's the number on this old ledger paper. Isn't that neat? And then here's the back half of what we saw in that front part. Really cool. These are really have a neat treatment. Maybe some ink on there, it looks like. That's neat. It makes it look so old. And then book pages. And here's everything that we saw in the first half. Just some washi tape on the book pages here. Scrapbook paper. It's just so neat. Wow. Never expected this. Here is a, looks like a certificate in holy matrimony. <laughs> That's pretty though, very vintage looking. And here's some of that paper. All the crinkly. And this is pretty cardstock. This is neat. And this is, looks like, almost like newsprint here. And then she's got some, oh, this is really old music paper here where you you write your own notes on. That's neat. And then we've got some, this feels like wallpaper. Some, it looks like it's, it feels like it's been painted, like cardstock or wallpaper. It might be wallpaper too. And then more cardstock with like script. Here's the middle of this one, the back half of this one. I think I'm getting lost here in my <laughs> signatures. <laughs> Just looking at all these pretty papers. So this is more of that music paper on the newsprint kind of paper. And then more crickety paper. And then Okay, this is the Holy Matrimony paper and what feels like wallpaper. Okay, now we're at this end of the second signature. Okay, I know where we are. <laughs> Not lost anymore. Okay, and this is the divider page in between those two. And she did the same thing where she's got it all one piece and blended into the back cover here. Isn't that cool? I've never seen that before. So that's neat. So pretty. Okay, so this looks like some of Mary's painted paper. Sorry if I'm getting my head in there, but I want to see this. She does really great like jelly printing and things like that. And that's what that looks like. It doesn't, I don't know, that's what it might be. It doesn't, it feels like scrapbook paper, like it's all nice and flat, so I'm not sure if it's actually scrapbook paper or painted, but it's really pretty, whatever it is. And here's some pretty paper here. Very vintage looking. Looks like a bur almost like a birth certificate. Some pretty paper, maybe scrapbook paper, and some more crinkly paper. And book page. Oh, this is neat with a postage on it. Very. Oh, this is a card. This is some, a card. I like that. That's neat. And it's like foreign, Francis, Francis. Francais, another uh, birth certificate type thing, some music paper, and then just some pretty, oh this is part of the birth certificate, here's a piece of paper, uh, Junk Journals Mary Flower, okay this is her information in her YouTube channel, that's cool, isn't that neat, okay, let me put that over to the side, and then here is some these feel like wallpaper, but they feel like, I don't know, just a different feeling because they have craft paper on the back, so just very neat background for whatever I want to put in there. 
This has a little bit of paint or ink on it. That's neat. Oh, you know what? I wonder if she painted this. I wonder if that's what that is. I, I do not know. <laughs> it feels like it could have been painted. So, yeah, that's what it could be. So that was the middle. This is the middle. So we're on the back half here. The birth certificate. Oh, neat. Here's another library pocket. Let's see what this one looks like. Isn't that pretty with an old music paper on there? And it's it's craft card stock. And then we've got a library card here, you know, a card catalog card with really pretty washi and a punch. That's a beautiful punch. Wow, that is neat. And then this is like corner punched here. On a, wow, it's done so pretty. How it, you know, it's just shaped like that. And then some pretty washi here, and it just the, the red lines are so cool on these. Very neat. And then there's some pretty paper, back of a card, book page, some crinkly paper with ink on it, so neat. And then some of the birth certificate type card, oh, scrap of paper, birth certificate, the blue that looks like painted, I'm not sure. Because I can't, I can't tell what it feels like. And then back of the book, and it's a hard, it feels like it's made with a hard cover book. So really neat treatment on here. Whatever she used to seal it and do. You know, this treatment looks really cool. So, oh my goodness, thank you so much, Mary. I just, I still can't believe it. <laughs> that is so cool. I, I just can't believe it. Well, thank you so much. I can't thank you enough for this. And I won't delay because uh, I know this video is getting long. So I hope you enjoy going through everything with me. And like I said, I'm going to do a giveaway like I promised. Uh, pay it forward type of thing on all my happy mail. So uh, just, I don't think I said at the beginning because I was just wanted to get on with the uh, opening the packages. But just comment below this video the same as the last one. Comment, subscribe, and like please. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. And I will see you all next time. Thanks. Good night.